Welcome back to another episode of Smith Fishing Outdoors. I'm Fisher Smith and today we're searching some lakes over here in Wisconsin and uh, we found some good ice. We've got about three and a half, four inches of super dark clear uh, ice. So we're going to get out here. We got the sleds all packed up and we're going to try to find some uh, some big panfish and crappies and uh, we're just going to have a blast today. We're going to get out there working our, our clam drop kicks and uh, everything else we can put out to catch these fish so uh let's grab a sled and let's go we got 12 feet and there might be a little bit of stuff going on there on the bottom right there 13 feet so I might pop a bunch of holes around here in this 13 feet, maybe you could start working them, Dad, and uh, we'll just figure something out here. I'm working just a little plastic here with a, dro with a drop kick, and uh, they were just, I just dropped down first drop, and they one came up and smacked me, missed them two times, and I caught them, but there was just a ton of fish all over this little basin right here. Yeah, they're definitely over here. They moved. I'm gonna try a pinhead on them. Got one on a pinhead right away. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we'll find out. Crappy. Grappe on the pinhead. Yeah. We'll drop that one back down. Wonder bread. Jesus. I can get a hit on anything else until I got a pinhead on. Put one on one of the other katanas. There's so many fish here, holy cow. There we go. Flash. Yeah. It's a decent one too. No bait. It's a good one too. Oh yeah. Holy cow! Oh, that's a tank. That that's a Chica flash to the dome. Look, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> See a what? No, I'm looking at his back. back. That thing is just. That's a probably 11 inch. That's a perfect we're eater gonna, crappie. We're gonna see how big that thing is. Perfect eater crappie too. She smoked that Tika. Oh yeah! First drop with the Tika flash. And. uh white crop or black crappies but they're pretty white yeah. he's flopping oh my goodness and there's so many fish down there you you started using the uh using the pinhead and i'm like i'm gonna be different so i put on my uh tika flash and first drop that fish decided to uh take a look at that green Pretty sure this is actually the biggest size there. 332. There we go. Another one on the pinhead. Crappy. It's putting a couple little spikes on there right now. Seems to work out, but this, uh, I like this, uh, Wonder Bread color. 
Get the back of me. Get the air out of their mouth like that. Send them back down. Take off really good. Oh. It thumped me. I am on my pinhead. I sure got a rock bass. Oh, there's a little sunny. Here we go. Big mark. Big mark. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Feels like it. Uh, it's not as big. Nope, not as big at all. But decent one. Nothing but the Tika Flash. Right in the corner of the mouth. That clam Tika Flash is hot. We'll put him down. We'll get that air out of his mouth. Close it. Set him back down. Nice job. Yeah. Small one. Really came up and crushed it though. There he goes. Woo! Yeah, that's cold in the hands. It's cold doing the air and weeb. But you don't want those little ones to die. I just dropped down to the lone fish that was below everybody else and he just came up and smashed it. Good. Good head shakes too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna drop down some meat. Holy cow. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. That's the fastest I've ever seen one run up. Yeah. It's eatable. All right, guys, so I switched it up. I ran back to the sleds, and uh, I grabbed a, a little swirl drop, kind of a chartreuse yellow color, and just tipped it with a couple of spikes. And first two drops, I caught those two, as you guys, as you guys seen. And now they kind of figured it out, and they're being finicky again. So see if this, see if I can get this fish to eat right here. Otherwise, I might hop a different hole and see if these other fish that haven't seen it yet will wanna bite it. Nothing. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, right here. There we go, guys. Hooked up. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, I don't know. Is it going to be a gill? Oh, it's starting to feel bigger as I'm getting them up. I think it's going to be a gill. Nope. Just a teeny little crappie on that, uh, Show you in a second. Let's get them. Let's go back down. This is what I was using. A little swirl drop. Swirl drop. Kind of a chartreuse yellow color. And just tipped it with a couple of spikes. And first two drops, I caught those two as you guys, as you guys see them. And now they out that seems like a decent one here. Dad's hooked up on a good one. Oh no! Felt better. Is a good one. Is that on my 22 incher? Oh, that rod's fun, ain't it? Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Feels like it's gonna be better. Hooked up on the straight drop. Another swimming at me. Oh, yeah. Eater. Heck yeah. Dad's hooked up too. What do you got? That rod's so much fun. 22 inch straight drop. Oh yeah. Nice crappie. It's a eater. Heck yeah. I'll unhook your fish for you. Nice. Thank you. Is that a Gents jig? Yep. Is that, that's what you're using? Gents, uh, Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread Gents jig tipped with a couple of spikes. Live scoping us. All right, guys, dropping down. Well, this one's gonna. Oh, they're coming up. This one wants it. This one wants it. He wants it. He just nipped it. <laughs> nipped it again. Let's see if I can get him a third time. <laughs> there we go. Feels like it's gonna be a nice eater crop. Maybe not. Nope. It's not gonna be an eater, but. Close his mouth. There he goes. Just another good eater right there. It's a blast catching them.
in big schools. A lot of these fish will just be sitting there lazy in the middle of the pack, but then everyone, then you'll get that one fish that'll just come out racing from the bottom. Boom, crushes yep. you. Earlier today when they were they were pretty hot, we, we were sticking them on. Yeah, with pinheads. Pinheads and, and tikka minnows and everything like that. And all of a sudden now we're, you know, getting to midday and yeah, we had to get... Yeah, now using little, little small jigs with, uh, with some tip with spikes, so... Yep, little clams roll drops have been the, kind of the key. Oh, that's, it's been hot. Yep. And aren't you using like a, a little gans jig too? Yep. Yeah, so drop back down to my school and pick off a few more. Right over. Oh my goodness. Oh, good one. That one feels better. That one definitely feels better. Definitely feels like at least it's gonna be a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Look at look at how he crushed that. Swirl drop. Oh my goodness. Just came up and creamed it. It's a ten incher. Boom. We're eating fish tonight, so we're gonna that's gonna be a perfect eater. There we go. Wait, what? No. Oh, I still got him, I think. Yeah, I still got him. Oh my goodness. My line broke. Still got them, hand line of the crappie. Couple. I just hand lined a crappie. It broke it off or what? It broke my line broke at my reel. So I hand lined them in. I like how you're holding your rod that way. I don't know why. I just really like to hold my rod sideways. Kinda of gives me more finesse. There we go. It feels better. Like a better crappie. It's got some weight to it. Yeah, take that every day. All right, guys. Well, we had a blast today. We caught probably 10, 15 nice crappies like this one. Fishing some deep water, and we really had to figure them out. A lot of times when you first got to the hole, they were super hot. But um, after you started working them, and I know when we started f catching the fish on like the pinheads and stuff, we dropped down to the same hole and we couldn't get another one to eat it. So then we switched baits and boom, they'd, they'd pop it right away. But it seemed like the ticket as we got to the end where they'd kind of be eating it all the time was the uh, swirl drop with a just a little bit of tip with one or two uh, spikes and that was the ticket. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. I'm Fisher Smith and... Uh, Hit the like, subscribe button. We'll see you in the next adventure.